All right, guys, we are going to cover the trunk, abdomen, and back muscles today. So the first muscle we start off with is the diaphragm muscle. So you can see the diaphragm muscle right, right up in here, really nice on this model. And the diaphragm is really the dividing line between the thoracic or chest cavity and the abdomen. Okay? Then we're going to jump into these two models right here. So what happened was... Um, I took a mold of myself when I was younger, okay? I don't have abs like this anymore, and then now we have these models for you guys, so you're welcome, okay? So we have the oblique muscles, and the oblique muscles are going to be down on the lower end of the abdomen over here, okay? So we have external and internal oblique muscles. So the external oblique muscles, you can just see a little bit of a piece right here, okay, going downwards. And then the internal muscles have striations going up towards the heart. So external obliques are going to have striations going towards the exit point in your body. And internal obliques are going to be the second layer deep going up back towards the heart. So on the other model, you just see, you just see external obliques. There's no view of the internal obliques on this model. Okay. Then if we jump to transversus abdominis, okay, kind of in that same area, but it's going to be the third layer deep of those guys. For the model perspective, it's of course not on the back side of your body, but you have to flip to the back side of the model to see transversus abdominis, and it has horizontal striations, okay? So it's on both models, transversus abdominis, and it has horizontal striations on the back, kind of in that same area as the obliques, though. Then we have the rectus abdominis, that's super easy, has vertical striations in the area where you think of as your six pack. So this is rectus abdominis. Then we have um, intercostals, and on these models, all you can see really are, you can see this like crayon version of internal intercostals, but there's actually a better way to see intercostals on this model right here, okay? And intercostals means in between the ribs. So if we get a little bit closer to look right here, we see in between the ribs we have um, some striation patterns going this way towards the exit. And then so those are going to be your external intercostals. And then you see these intercostals with striation patterns going back up towards the heart. And they're one layer deeper. Those are internal intercostals. Okay, so then we have a couple back muscles that we need to cover. We need muscle man to help us. So latissimus dorsi is going to be this super large lower back muscle reaching towards the front there. So you can see it there. You can also see it here reaching towards the front. That is the latissimus dorsi muscle. While we have muscle man here, the large superficial muscle up here is trapezius. We will also see it on a different model in a little bit. Then we have our pectoralis muscles, which cover our chest. So you have the Pectoralis major muscle, which is what most people think of when they think of your pecs. This is pectoralis major. Underneath that is the smaller pectoralis minor. Notice that pectoralis major covers the entire chest, and it would on both sides. This is the superficial versus the deep side of the model. On the deep side of the model, in the superior lateral corner, you see the pectoralis minor attaching to the edges of those ribs right there. Then we have linea alba, which is not a muscle. It is a piece of connective tissue vertically dividing the rectus abdominis left from right. So that's the linea alba. Then we have serratus anterior, which are serrated like a knife. Okay, So you have serratus anterior right here. The way I find serratus anterior is I find my pectoralis. And then I go down and lateral, and then now I'm at my serratus anterior. You can also see it on this other model right here. Underneath the pectoralis major, you can see the serratus anterior right there, okay? Next, we have trapezius, which is on this model right here. So we had the trapezius, which is this muscle on the superficial side covering the upper back right there. Underneath it, we have the levator scapulae and the two rhomboid muscles. So levator scapulae is going to be just over here. So last time we had splenius capitis right up in here reaching towards the ear. A little bit lateral to that we have levator scapulae which does touch the edge of the scapula right there because it elevates the scapula. 
Then we have the rhomboid minor and major on the deep side. So if we take a look right here, we have the trapezius right here. And then on the deep side, we have rhomboid minor over rhomboid major. And you'll see rhomboid minor is a little bit thinner. And then the little bit thicker one is rhomboid major. Okay. And I did skip a term, teres major, but we'll cover that in another video with the arm.